YouTube. Assalamu alaikum. How are you all doing? I'm back today again to do a reaction about Kaini, can't pronounce his name, Kim Kardashian's husband, Kaini West, I think that's what his name is, wanting to be a USA president. And I'm also going to talk about this American woman who moved into my country, and her name is Art Kati. So, yeah. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For some of you that seen that I am clapping a lot, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm from West Africa. That's what we do. And for some of you that say that I don't speak good English, you know, in that video I do for Kat, why I keep calling her Kat? At Kati. <laughs> You still not insulted me yet because your boss at Kati herself said that the whole of Gambia is not educated. And she still haven't insulted us yet because education is not just about going to school or else we wouldn't have Donald Trump. We wouldn't have her herself as well with the WC tank calling herself a graduate whatever let me fix my african dress i love the dress so you cannot speak my language if you can speak it you cannot speak it half of the way i speak english and i grew up never attend any school in my whole life growing up until as an adult i only been to college few months of my life so, not even complete six months. I'm proud with the kind of English I speak. Very happy with it. They're not my language. I'm not going to get paid for speaking English, good English. It's not going to take me to heaven because I speak good English. Doesn't bother me at all whenever someone uses English to insult me. Our great grandparents did not learn any English. Our great 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 parents, grannies, what do you call it? All over the world, did not learn any of that. Wasn't good with any of the language that you know we are speaking now. Either it's English or French or whatever. And if they manage to carry the world better than we are doing now, then don't worry about the speaking the language properly. It's about how you think after you even go to the highest university. Now, let me load this down a little bit. So, yeah, that's what I want to say for people that complain about my bad English. Complain and that I'm clapping a lot. You know, you have a lot of miserable people in this world, right? Like the way I used to be. But even when I was miserable, I wasn't that miserable because I'm so easy okay people that know me they know me i'm like a child i don't just get angry because someone is clapping for example or something like some people are so miserable that every little thing just what's the english word make them like oh, you know they're going mad for everything you know just calm down this is just life this is just humans this is just the universe calm down keep calm have peace with yourself. Try to calm down. I feel sorry for you all. You're all going to get angry like this. You're all going to stay miserable like this. You're all what you're all going to do with your life. Huh? You're all going to be miserable like this. Every little thing get on your nerve and you're going rage. Look, you all need to calm down. This is just life. You're all going to add more trouble into this world with your miserableness. Anyway, I'm going to talk about this Kim Kardashian husband saying he wants to be the U.S. president. How hard can this year get? Just how hard can 2020 get? Hey, Allah, help us, please. We need escape from 2020, please help us. 2020 is just, I've never seen 2020 in my whole life. 
we've seen all kind of crazy news but this one is one of the crazy news because not just this man is not fit to be a president okay that's not the only bad news about this it's also the fact that other people don't understand that this man is not fit to be a president this man is not fit to be a president not because he's black or anything that's good people like obama or we have all the black people like obama normal decent looking black people decent background decent looking you know we want that kind of president simply because those are the kind of president that is gonna help us and influence our youth they look up to presidents and look up to the big people this kind of man that married to this kind of woman who is responsible she is one of you know this man and his wife you know and their family their Kardashian family they are one of the people that is responsible huh, for why our youths are the way they are the young generation you know how the young generation have no respect no love no self-confidence committing suicide more than ever trying to fix their bum trying to fix their boobs trying to fix their lips trying to fix their nose trying to fix their forehead trying to fix everything huh it's because of this man family and the other people that are like his family they didn't just come to the public and tell them that you're not beautiful the way you are you have to change everything they also come up with some expensive makeup brand that a lot of teenagers, you know, that, that, that have to do anything. They can't, even if they have to sell themselves to buy this stupid makeup brand. The teenagers who don't know their self-worth. And because they teach these teenagers how to not know their self-worth, then it's easy for them to not know their self-worth. Because they teach them that you have to fix your lips, inject them and do operation. You have to inject this and do operation. You have to inject this and do operation. You have to inject whatever and do operation. So these children already think that, you know, if they don't have the money or they don't want to take the risk of this and the pain of this injection and operation, then they're not beautiful. Even the other women that are not teenagers, you know, it could be people who look like my age and stuff. If they're not too careful, they're going to think like that too. This Kardashian family are contribute a lot to why the social media is the way it is people have no confidence anymore not just that's why this, this man is not capable of being a president that is one of the reasons but that's not all i'll tell you the other big one but this is one of the reasons because if we have a president and he's gonna teach our youth him and his wife and his family teach our youth that they're not beautiful and that they need the whole plastic plastic surgery in the world it's just not gonna help let's just be real okay also this man is one of these black people like this ad cutting one that i'm talking about who moved into my country from america because this man just did a song not long ago called i don't know what the blood cover with the blood or something sour sour with the blood or wash with the blood i think it's called wash with the blood where he just the whole song is all about black people are but you know they are back to slavery again that people are treating us like a slave there look at this he go and pick up all the negative bad videos about the, the, the protests you know that the, the police brutality whatever you call it and just some even some people even dress like a slave person or something and just doing like a singing and, and talking about people treating us like a slave still and stuff like this which is his preaching hate he's constantly you see all you black american rappers i swear to god you guys have what 99 percent responsive you guys are 99 percent responsible why people treating us the way they treat us i say this so many times in my video before you guys are the, you guys are hypocrite what's the english word why you guys complain that i can't speak english you guys are lucky i can't speak english because if i was speaking english like my language you will know what i'll tell you 
you're lucky anyway i hope you're understanding me last time you guys go all over the world singing about nigga nigga this nigga that nigga give me that ass nigga nah, nah, nah. you know doing all this ranch and idiotic behavior all the time having this beautiful black girl sewing their body like they're nothing all the time the whole world watching us looking at us like we are nothing this world is not just about i have beautiful body people gonna respect me no even if you have the most ugly body and you respect yourself you know your dignity people respect you if you're beautiful like beyonce or whatever and you don't know yourself what you are behaving like a piece of shit and going crazy all the time and just naked and going crazy people will not respect you not just that you know not, that's that's just one thing that's just one bad thing about you rappers in america listen to the other bad thing you also teach our youths how to not respect themselves because you do your rappers very inappropriate, sitting on each other, kissing, basically having sex and everything, naked in the pool, singing about sex, just going crazy all the time, all these years. You make all the young black girl grow up to be a prostitute or dressing on the street, so ranchang, walking, so ranchang, behaving, so ranchang. All over the world, people that listen to you, not just America. You destroy them all. Now, listen. You also all the time sing about nigga, nigga this, nigga that, nigga this, nigga that. And then when the white people say nigga, you are angry. What a hypocrite. You are singing it to them all the time in their ears. If they're driving their car listening to you, they're singing nigga. Everywhere they go, they're singing nigga. In the kitchen, they're cooking, singing nigga because you're singing nigga to them. And you say they're not going to allow to say nigga. That's hypocrisy. If you don't want the word nigga from another tribe, why are you singing it yourself all the time like it's nothing? That's hypocrisy. Confuse. Self-hate calling yourself slave all the time. And then angry saying that they're treating us like slave there. They don't like us there. But you are slave. That's why you're telling you're calling yourself slave and your friend and your group of dancers, whoever the hell they are. Anyway. Also, not just you influencing our youths and our, our society, you rappers, you rappers that do bad rapping and just bad singers in general, but bad rapping. You guys have 95%. Uh, what's the word? Ah, this top is too tight now, this pandemic. Add 10 kilos on me already. What's, what's the word? You rappers have the, you know, make our youths don't know who they are anymore and destroy the world. All the people that are listening to you, even in Africa. Not just that's why you're not allowed, you shouldn't be a president, okay? But also, the fact that you behave like this art catty woman that I'm talking about, who hate white people. I don't think you hate white people that much. I think if you don't like white people or you, you talk about slavery all the time like you do and stuff, I think it's hypocrisy because your wife is white or whatever she is. I think she's white. She's white and black because she went to she change her lips and change her everything to be black, but then she's white, you know, she's confused. That's fine, we're all confused now, you know, this is 2020. But you also, you know, preach and talk about slavery a lot, something like this. I don't know much about you, but this is your song that you released last week. Absolutely slavery song. And this ad catty woman. That is in my country. Who said that we should see move from America and move to my country, Gambia? She does YouTube. Her video, one of her videos she did last year. That she call it. When I saw that video yesterday, that's when I say, Oh, why will I why why was I wasting my energy talking about this woman in the other video about how she she, she, she doesn't like black people in you know my country and my culture? And just she doesn't like white people. I'm going crazy. I did a video for her two days ago, I think it was. But I said to myself, ah, why will I waste my energy on this woman? I said, but I still have to talk for people that watch her. Because it's not for her, but for people that watch her, that is brainwashing them with her madness. So this woman said in that video that she did last year, it's still on her YouTube channel. It's called, you all have white friend. You all still have white friend. That's what the video called. Look it up. You all still have white friend. 
When I click that video, she said that she doesn't have white friends. She doesn't want white friends and that no black person should have white friends. Should not mix with white people. And that she doesn't like white people. And that this, Because I saw one of the videos she did in Gambia. She was saying that we are better than the white people there. I say, ah, this woman saying that, the, you know, that, that, that she, she come to Gambia to fight. This is a war. We have to fight this. You know, this slavery thing that the white people did to us. They're still enslaving us. Why are they coming to this country, Gambia? Huh? Why is this happening? Why is that happening? You know, and then she's talking about, it's like she's talking about the white people hate us, isn't it? Is that not what she's talking about? But she's also talking like she hate the white people, Right? So then I I am confused. I don't like people who complain about these people don't like you, but you hate them more. So why are you complaining? Now? Complain about yourself. Yeah, you see with that. It's like some of the Scottish people that still hold into what England hold on to what England did to them. You know, England long time ago had a bad history with with Scotland. They took over Scotland. It was a big fight, really bad fight. Look up the history if you don't know. England took over Scotland in a bad, horrible way. Just like slavery time. Chop off, kidnap the queen, cut her neck at the end, took the country. So many things happened. Some Scottish people still don't really like English people because of this, you know, like. But this is not going to help them because they all mix and get married to each other and just their children all mix and the country is still one country. So why, why are they bothering themselves with the pain? They cannot do nothing about it. The country is one. This world is one. It's like when UK tried to get out of the jump of barrage, you know, the United Nations. No. E European Union, yeah. UK get out of the European Union. A lot of UK people don't like it. A lot of people in the parliament don't like it. It doesn't favor UK in so many ways. It's going to affect UK in so many ways, especially now this pandemic is here. I hope it's not going to be worse. Because we need each other, you know. A lot of the workers here in UK, they're not from here. If they all go or they're making it difficult for them to come, it's not going to help them. Every country needs foreigners, even in Europe. There's no country that will work without foreign people. Of course, you have good and bad foreign people. Not just about the foreigners anyway. How the hell are you going to say that you want us to hate the, the white people that we should, we should mix with them, we should friend with them, we should leave the white people alone? And you complaining about the white people hating you. What kind of hypocrisy and narcissistic is that? And you know people that are narcissistic, they know how to talk. And a lot of them are actually educated. So they use their education and their talk to brainwash the rest of the people in a good way. That in a way that will make them think that is good. That's why you say that people that listen to you, they are like-minded people. And people that don't like what you're saying, they, they, they're heavy-minded or close-minded, whatever you call it. We're not heavy-minded or close-minded. We just understand, and we are from Africa. We understand our part of our, our view about this whole slavery thing or whatever that you're, you're fighting. That's, that's the, the third world war. The number three world war that you want to bring on again. We understand the consequences of, of it. We understand that fighting hate with hate won't help. This is why we don't like the way you talk. And we see your narcissistic talk. What's the English word? Your narcissistic... I give up. The way you talk like a narcissistic. You have no respect for us. And then you complain about the white people don't have no respect for us. You say the white people coming to Gambia, they have no respect for us there. They're having sex with the children. Sex stories, same nangam nangam happening. And then you insult us. Worse than the white people. You said we are dirty. Our taxes are dirty. You have to cover yourself with a blanket when you go there. And that we don't know how to talk. And that we only know one type of food, which is bare in the chain. And that we are too fat like me. Everybody's like me, like a potato woman. And we don't like to exercise. By the way, a lot of our African men love it. Because they have what it takes to handle a woman like me. It's not every man is weak and like a like a tiny that, that that want a tiny doll woman so they can just bump you know break her up and down. No, so men have what it takes and they like a big woman. I'm not saying everyone should eat their, themselves to death. It's not healthy. I know that, 
But it's not everybody that have to go starving themselves so they can be miserable. Or they have to live or live like a good so they can be miserable and miss their rice and they cannot eat the rice. Whatever you're used to, if you don't eat it, it's miserable. You don't know this. I'm not saying that people should not should, should, should be overweight. But people should not also be miserable eating salad every day like a goat. So they can have a tiny body like, like you. Size 4 or size 6, whatever. That's not what makes you happy. And that's not what life is all about. It doesn't make you healthy either. Some people are so skinny and they're not healthy. So you have to watch your weight, of course. You shouldn't be overweight. I put on some weight because of the pandemic. I'll try to lose a little bit. I was bigger than this few years ago. I tried to calm down. I love food. I know this. Too much food is not good. I know it too. But the way you're insulting us in your video, that they put so much mayonnaise in their food. They don't know how to eat. They don't have good diet. Oh my God. That's all is unnecessary. You're just insulting us. Who asks you about diet? About what? how much mayonnaise you put in the food? Come on. Come on. All of your fans that is watching. All of you, if you are honest. All of you light-minded people, like she said, tell the truth. Did you have to mention about how much money you put in the bread? Come on. What is her business with that? Why is this insulting us with the amount of money we put? I know we put too much money, I know. I like too much money too, but I try to avoid money nowadays. But what that got to do with her video, this is what I want to know. You cannot just move to someone country three months later. You are on you, you are talking about how much they, they eat mayonnaise and stuff, and you know, insulting the culture because of mayonnaise and because of the taxes, dusty, and that we don't know how to speak, and that we talk like this. We talk like you don't understand, you just don't understand. So, you hate us more than the white people because I'm not seeing any white people doing that type of video for us. They know Africa is not developed, some of them even try to develop Africa. But they're not bullying Africa when they developed in it. You are narcissistic and a bully. And you, ha you have this, this old time slavery thing in your heart so much. Last thing, all of you black Americans that have this slavery thing in your heart the wrong way, you are the reason this slavery thing is getting worse. I swear to Allah. And last thing now, I'll tell you why before I leave. You make the black children don't have confidence. The moment they grow up, you make them understand that they are nothing and the whole world, and especially the white people, see them as nothing. When they're born in America or UK or anywhere. I do say this in my language so many times. So it's not like this is the first time I'm saying this. When you have children in Europe or America or anywhere, right? Or even Africa. It's better, I think, in Africa even. But if, it's, if they're in these European countries where everybody's white, their teacher is white, everybody's white, and you're making these children think that their skin is the cost it's, it's what makes everybody hate them. Mm -hmm. You kill their confidence there already. Don't even bother. If that child is not careful, they're going to grow up with pain and hate. They're going to be so miserable and bitter. And when anybody look at them, they're so, so angry. That's why a lot of our children end up using drugs, prostitutes, dancing in, in, this, in this man's song. What's her name? What's his name? This Kylie, Kylie Jenner, uh, Kim Kardashian's husband. The song. He sang that type of rapper song. The type of idiotic way of thing. And they just on porn star. Three quarter of the black American women don't know their self worth. And a lot of these African women that listen to songs like, like yours, like this American song that I'm explaining, they also don't know their self worth. You influence them too. That's what your song is all about. Don't know yourself what and have fun and get high and have sex and yeah and slave this, slave that and da, da, da. So when you going around doing this, destroying the community, killing the confidence of our youths, and every country you go, for example, when you when the child thinks that people don't like me because I'm black, for example, right? So the child will behave miserable and the child will go to school angry. Every day they go to school, they're angry, ready to defend themselves. Huh? So they're going to develop that anger and fight from a young age. And even my country that don't have any black child in the school, sorry, any white child in the school, hardly ever you see any school in Gambia that have one white student. Hmm? Even in the private school, hardly ever. People still bully them, bully each other because they are black, they're children. Children bully each other. 
the white children bully each other. People that are bad, they bully each other. Of course, sometimes they bully the other children because they are black or something. That's true. But even if they're not black, they still bully each other. Even if they're black, all black, they still bully each other. Because they're children, even adults, we do that. Are you not bullying us now? And you are adults. You know, you're not bullying our culture, insulting us for being African? Insulting us for not taking the white people out of the country? Because you run away from the white people. Now we also have to take the white people out. Less than. It's not that every problem, we all have to have the same way of solving it. That's narcissistic. If you think that this black life matter thing or this just black people get, fix Africa and getting power or whatever, that, that, that need to be fixed, that, that we're not fixing it right because we are too nice or we're just allowing the white people, we have to kick them out and, or kill them and stay away. We should, if anybody's married to them, they should divorce. If anybody have a white teacher, don't go to school. You have white friends, oh, block them. Don't even greet them when you see them at Starbucks. Hey, you have white period, poison them. If you don't, if, if you're seeing it like that, that's what we should do. And we saying that's not what we should do. Doesn't mean that we hate you. If you are close-minded, full of hate, ready to bring World War III or World Final World War, end of the world, whatever, you want to bring that. And we know that this is not the, how to solve the problem. You have to pay hate with love. When someone hates you, you have to pay them with love. If you cannot pay them with love, just leave them alone. But if you're giving them worse hate, you have right for them to give you back and you keep giving back like one year old fighting and finishing the world. Who, who does that? Then why are you talking about love and, and, and build Africa when we're going to end the world? Anyway, you say it in your video that this is a war. You always say that. You are at war with yourself. Cut. Sorry. Art. Art, Kati, you're at war with yourself. People like you that want to move to Africa, don't go to Africa, please. Let's take. I'm begging you. Don't go to Africa. People that are close-minded like you, you know why? Because you will never be happy in Africa. Because Africa, we don't think like you do. It's not because we are scared like you are seeing all the time. They're scared. They don't want to leave the white people. They don't want to get out of the white people. They're scared. They think they cannot do life without themselves. No one is scared of no one here. This is 2020. We just have human mind. We don't have hate and want to kill or abandon and hate. Especially when we're trying to fix this hate in this world. Hate is everywhere in the world. Not just white, not just white, not just blue, not just green, everywhere in the world. I'm telling you this, hate and jealousy. And then you say that we are jealous there because you, you guys are educated and you come from America, you move there, we are jealous. You're not insulting us, you don't hate us, you hate us. We're not jealous of you. Because we can see how close-minded you are and how, how much you carry this slavery pain until now. Look, this is not how to live a life. You cannot carry pain. Us in Africa, we grew up in a hard life, a lot of us, but we're not carrying the pain like you're doing. That's why we are managed to, to be happy and be, you know, like a normal human being. People that carry pain, they end up creating fight, making their whole life miserable, making people around them miserable, sending people to prison, killing people. That's not going to help nothing. If you want the Africa to stop colonized uh, by the white people, and da, 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 they say we you have to do it, and that's not going to end now. Because Africa and other countries, it's not just Africa. Even in Europe here, you have other countries that are more developed. I live in Scotland. Scotland is full of people from Poland, Czech Republic, Bulgaria. All these other African countries, you know, and European countries that are not developed like, like, like UK, they come here to work. This world is like this. You have part of the world that is more developed. So if you want to develop the other part that is not developed, you cannot develop it with hate, telling them to stay away from the rest of the world there because of this is what they did. That's like someone in Scotland saying that stay away from England, drive every English person out of the country. If you marry them, divorce them. Whoa, stay away there. Look at what they did to us in the past. Come on, Scotland, let's stay here together. Come on, let's build Scotland together. That's not building, that's building hate. If you hate a white person, you're telling everybody that have white parents and have white husband or even a white friend and everybody to, to hate them too. That's not going to help. Just because you don't like white person, 
Doesn't mean that other people have people with white people, a uh, problem with white people. Some people are happy with white people and they're married or they're friends and da da da. Yes, you have some white people who are racist. You have some black people who are racist, people like you. Green, yellow people. You have racism everywhere you go. China, India, everywhere you go. That's true. But you cannot fix racism with racism. Like I said, I'm not talking for you. I'm talking for people that watch you. Because I know they're coming to my channel now because of you, the video I did for you. Now, let's think, please, people, I'm begging you. I think you, you people have good mind. Normal human being mind. I don't think all of you are like her. This woman and all the women that is like her that is in America, they are the reason why people cannot respect the black Americans. Not the people that don't respect them. Because they kill the confidence of the black children from the young age, make them build them with hate from a young age. You cannot raise a child with hate and expect that child to do well. That child cannot be a president. That child cannot be nothing important in the country. So that they cannot make a change there. Because you cannot have a president who don't like white or blue or green. Like Donald Trump. That's what we don't want to have anymore. We want to have a president who is open-minded and love every human being like the way Obama was. So all of you black people that are good-minded people, open-minded people, decent black people that don't go singing and, and, and have a wife that is naked and, and teaching our children to be naked and fix their books and bomb and everything. And just singing naked and teaching our children to be prostitutes and everything. If you have decent black people that don't do that, come to the politics, please, in America. Go and join the politics so we can have another black American president like the way Obama was. I used to celebrate Obama and be so happy every day looking at him talking as a black man. I don't think Kat, uh, Kat, uh, Kat, uh, Kat like Obama then. I wonder what she was thinking of Obama because Obama is half white, half black. So she's going to hate Obama for that then. Hey, please people, if you guys are like this woman, huh? because I know some of you are like her. Some of you commented there on the video I did for her. I hate white people. Eh, subhanallah. Why are you complaining about white people hating us then when you hate them? Any white person that hate us, huh? If you're fighting white or green or Chinese or Indian or whatever don't, who don't like us. By the way, it's not just white people that don't like us there. There's other Indian, Asian, whatever who don't like us. We also, a lot of us don't like Indian, Asian, white, blue, the, the, the people like Kat and people like you. People like Art, sorry. People like Art Kashi, can't say her name. And people like you that commenting there, remember? You're also among the haters, remember? You also don't like the other people. We don't want this. We're tired, this is 2020. Look at the coronavirus. Is here killing everybody? Does it matter what race? We don't know what virus can come next. We don't own this world, remember? People that are close-minded, they think they own, they own this world. They're ready to fight, to pick and choose what race is going to be here and what race doesn't have to be here. And ah, give me my world, this is mine. They're not well. This world is not yours. You don't own it. You don't know when you're going to leave coronavirus or not. We all dying every day because of an accident or cannot wake up in a sleep or whatever. So just calm down. Understand the damage of what you are doing for the next generation. It's gonna really, really damage their generation when you teach them hate. So, if you want peace as you claim and you're not narcissistic and you're not psychotic, you're not covering your hate with peace, sugar coated with peace when you actually sugar come on, with helping or peace or whatever, when you're actually damaging and you know it. If you are not like that, then understand the damage of this hate speech. If you don't have children also, or you don't care about your children, I have children, other people have children. I don't want to raise my children with hate. Love is the only thing that can end this, 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 this hate that the whole world is having now, white or blue or green. And then you say the black people are jealous of each other. The white people are jealous of each other. Asian people are jealous of each other. Green, yellow people are jealous of each other. It's all over the world now because of media like Kim Kardashian kind of a people. And just the material world and people are miserable. Nobody's teaching them how to love and care. People like you, Kat, raising children with hate. That's why people are jealous of each other. Why are you putting it on us black alone? You hate us more than any white person. I'm telling you this.
I've never seen white person talk to us like the way you do, not even Donald Trump. You say that we are jealous that black people is known for their jealousy for their dis. People like you who are narcissistic, hypocrite, psychotic, and then blaming us for everything when everything that is in us is in the other race. It's just they practicing it differently. Jealousy is in every race. They're just doing it differently. We are just more forward. We black people are more forward. This is why you can see who we are quickly. You don't know this? I forgot you're not even clever. Going to school doesn't make you clever. Anyway, people like you will not make me insult the whole black Americans. I don't think all black Americans is like you. But I think that there's more people like you, people like the one that commented that who hate comment. I leave that comment there. I wanted to delete it, but I leave it there for people to see that there's more people like you. You guys, I feel sorry for you. Calm down. If you don't like your life, because you said in your video that you're ready to die, you don't care. You're not scared that you want to die, that you don't care. Fine. But do not just because you don't want your life and you're going to make other people and their children to think like you, yeah. that they can end up in prison fighting with the white person they're working with, stab them, shooting them, going crazy just because they're white and end up in prison. People don't deserve this. Please, give us peace. I don't know why YouTube allow you to do that hate video. You have seen physically that I don't like white people, I hate white people, I don't want nothing to do with them. I don't know why that video is still there. That video shouldn't be there still. But I can see why that video is not monetized. This doesn't matter monetized or not, that video shouldn't be there. Very hateful video. If anyone smoke weed and listen to that video, they can just carry their gun and shoot the next white person. If we say that we want peace, and we say that the white people or Chinese or whoever don't like us. And we are giving them the hate they're giving them. They're giving us. We're just opening door for them to give us more hate. Every race you go have bad and good people. You have black people who are like you who hate white, green, blue. And then you have white people who hate white, blue, green, blue. So calm down. Hate is in this world. That's how we found it. And we're going to leave it here. And we can try to reduce it. But we cannot reduce it with hate. Everybody knows that you cannot put up a fire with fire. Well, people that have brain knows that. Nobody have time for hate speech this 2020. Trying to bring World War One or World War Three or Final World War. We don't want that. We don't have time for that. We're too clever for that. Does it mean that we're weak or we are scared or we just we love the white people? We worship them. They are our slave master. You are insulting us and you hate us. You put us down. Call us slave for talking to the white people and, and allowing them to the country. You are insane. You are very racist, narcissistic, psychotic. You are not at peace with yourself. You are very miserable. You are too miserable. Ooh, I thought I was miserable all these years because of my child marriage and stuff. You are worse. I don't know what you have been through. But you are so miserable. I am so you didn't even go through half of what I have been through with child marriage. I think it's just you carry this slavery thing on your head. Dealing with it the wrong way. This is why you're so miserable. It's sad. Calm down. Too much stress can kill you before your time. Just can kill other people or send them to prison. Calm down. If you say that you want equality for human beings. If you're genuine. Calm down. So I'm tired talking. This is what I want to say about you again today. I'm going to do a lot of videos about explaining Gambia and even sharing some of my stories. Someone suggest, suggested I should explain my child my stories. I will do that, but not right now, but I'll do that in the future, inshallah. And I'm also going to do um, more videos explaining about Gambia culture to people, you know, because you're not explaining to them about Gambia culture. You don't know nothing about Gambian culture. You're just talking about the bad industry people in the industry, the hotel people or Senegambia people and stuff. And you just, eh. You are insane because you hate these white people so much for years. That's why you don't know how to love anymore. Now I understand you when I watched that video yesterday. I understand you very well now. You don't know how to love anymore. You, your heart is used to hate for years. Try to cure your heart. Learn to love and calm down. Learn mindfulness for your own good and for the people that are listening to you. And so you can change Africa as you say you're coming to change. You cannot change Africa with hate. You cannot bring World War One. I. I know that's what you want. You said it. We don't want that. We are fine. We still appreciate waking up, looking at the birds singing like now, going to the park, 
we enjoy that we don't want to die now so if you're too miserable that you want one more of three or whatever calm down please calm down that's not gonna help us so people like west want to be a president no we need decent black people people like you want to fix africa no we need decent black people to fix africa all the black people that are trying to talk about africa and trying to fix africa on this youtube i saw them they're doing wonder people like you ooh, you are like me we have to work on ourselves have a good day people i'm done with this topic now so yeah comment below let me know what you think about the thought pack do not insult if you are criticizing or whatever i'm fine i'm very open-minded i don't delete comment that is just telling me i'm wrong or whatever i normally even like it you're right no one is perfect i'm not perfect but if you are insulting or saying this racical deep strong racical talk i'm gonna delete you if not you can come in say what you like let's have a conversation about that especially you americans I want to know what you mean. I mean, what you think. I hope it's not many of you like this woman. Please. So, have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. And yeah, stay protecting yourself. This virus is still on. I pray that no one die from this virus again and that we just have peace and that this virus will go away. And that we just have a normal, loving, kind, open-minded mind to live in this world all together and just peace in general. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> we are going. Only Alan knows where we going. And I know we will get there. It will be hard, I know, that the road will be muddy and rough, but we'll get there. We will, we will, we will, we are going. Only Allah knows where we go, but I know we will get there. We are going. Only Allah knows how we'll get there, but I know we will get there, inshallah.